If we say that there's nothing more as a philosophical movement that turned Buddha-like to a religion, what they figured, and that's incredible, I think, is that in the East, they literally have taken the Hellenistic world as it was because of a strong footprint. Alexander the Great and his rest, his heirs did, was to keep the framework, which was incredible. This is why, again, under this spectrum, whatever they tried to do, Romans, as they can, they kept a strong footprint, but look, compared to the eastern part, which was rather strengthened because of the Romans trying to keep a foothold on just about everything at the time. So, someone said, let's take the capital itself, because it is unstable, because it will fall sooner or later, because they were saying a total fuck up already. And someone, perhaps smart, perhaps not, say, let's take the capital and call it this place, New Rome. Why? Because of we're the fucking superpower. Which is kind of unholy. It's like saying Washington, D.C. is supposed to go to Kansas right now. The rest of us are supposed to follow the lead. Okay. Now, what you all understand, I hope, the seriousness of making sure the capital goes from that place to that. They didn't say Milan. They didn't say anywhere else. So, they really built on top of the Hellenistic world and they tried to keep back whatever the fuck is still called Eastern traditions. Of, or you name them, you name Mithras, you name uh, Egyptian heresies, you name even name uh, what we all say as, uh, as Islam, even. To a certain extent, Buddhism, you name it. So again, someone, I'm, I'm laughing towards it, someone says about AI, how about human AI? We're talking about human AI turned to Finally, they set itself to a place, and they all said, "This is it. it's not nationalism. It's this government so keep the best of the fillet, or whatever is called the best of the fillet." And we don't know if they, if they could have the chance to say, "You know, we are going to Germany. We are going to the Rhine. We'll talk to the war chiefs. They will see the deal." Who would say no? It's not about the greatness, so to speak. It's about the package itself. So this is why, more or less, they move to what we all know as Istanbul. And they're trying to understand whether it's a true church. And they check it, yeah, yes, there's what we have, apart from the sea, what was once called Byzantium. Could be Smyr, Smyr, it could be Ephesus, could be Alicarnassus, could be Rhodes, could be Cyprus, could have been, you name the place. They do not know what they have in their hands when it comes to Istanbul. And after a certain point, they don't care. I moderately say they threw and cursed and pissed on the crosses because it had to do with their families, it had to do with the bitches they were after, it had to do with the bastards they had to take care of. So they cursed the cross. Fuck the devil. And when they saw this kind of scandals occurring all over again for a thousand years, about 700 years, all over again, they said it's time for me to check out. And they became warlords from generals. And then my generals, one by one, they surrendered. 
to a small Turkish tribe which won, as he says, two times and he conquered this with no big resistance. I find it highly, highly And then, more or less, what happened back then became an ideology and a patriotism and a religion and at every center.